Monday, everyone. I wanted to do one of our uh, Monday chats because today I have off from work. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, but yesterday I decided to really focus on a lot of the things that I needed to get done. Um, so I put my phone away and I really just um, did everything that I needed to get done. My daughter actually stopped over. So um, it was it was nice having her visit. So it was really nice to enjoy her company while, you know, I was working on orders, I was running downstairs, I was doing the laundry. So I got a lot done. I wanted to bring up the the daily, um, my list. Okay, so the first thing, I used a couple different ones. I'm weird, I know. Um, I shared this with you guys yesterday. So I got a few things done. These were the urgent ones. Um, so for today, it's going to be the nails. Um, my money green yarn cranberry already went to the two areas. So I'm hoping, um, that I can, I'm afraid to order it online cause I'm afraid to get it. Um, so I went to two different stores, um, actually three different stores, uh, for the cranberry and it was terrible. I just can't use that. It's so thin. It was so, ugh, it's a disgrace. Oh, it gets me so angry. I'm keep, I'm still looking though. Um, so this is the, uh, this is the daily insert that I used yesterday for everything that I need to get done. I just, I highlighted what was, um, what I got done yesterday. So I highlighted, I think I did pretty good. Um, considering I wish that, um, I could have done a little bit more. Um, but there's only so much time in the day, honestly, Today I'm gonna to be doing the YouTube video, which I'm doing now. So these finance inserts are from Milrose Notes and myself. And um, we did this little work together to come up with something. And I was asked, how do I plan? How do I budget? How do I, what, what inserts do I use? And like, how do I use them? These inserts here are from Milrose Notes. They are available now in A5, ready to ship, a, a packet package of 40 inserts um you have 13 i could be wrong 14 paycheck to paycheck so that's two sides each um you have six months worth of inserts and then you also have your bill tracker you have your five pa uh five pages of your bill tracker five pages of sinking funds an order tracker, expense tracker, I don't think, and a debt tracker. Oh, I totally forgot to add, um, fill those in. All right, so I highly recommend it. It is, a, like I said, an A5 packet. The printables are gonna be become available on the 18th, yay! So these are for people who have different sizes. I'm so, so excited because I had so many people reach out to me and who are interested in the printables. They have Happy, Happy Planner Classic, they have A6 rings, personal size so happy for them that they can you know print out what they need for their finances to help you so this was last paycheck my next paycheck is going to be this friday and um this is the bill tracker so what i like about this is that here's your due date this is um the bills that are due this is the balance like let's say you have credit cards, these are the balance, this is your balance. And then this is the amount paid and then I check off, you know, if it's done. So um, over here you have your variable, which is going to be uh, more of like cash envelopes. And then this is your fixed sinking funds and then total debt. So what you, what you, what I'm going to do, um, because I already paid off where all of the check marks is my next paycheck, I'm going to pay the remaining. I also have one. So we get paid three times in October. That's awesome. That last check is really going to roll over to November. So the next paycheck is going to be on Friday. which is right here. So I get paid here. I wanna pay all the bills from here to here. My next pay, then my next pay is going to be for the next month, a little bit for the next month, okay? So we're gonna list all the bills that are due from here 
to the next paycheck, which is going to be Okay. These are the bills that need to be pushed over here with the do like the dates and the amount that I'm going to be paying. I'm going to also put it here, but I'm going to list it over here, okay? Then I'm going to take a look at the variable expenses. So now I got paid. Now I'm going to take a look and say, "All right, so my variable expenses are going to be groceries, gas, beauty, eating out, I forget, I do this every day and I still don't know, grocery, beauty, gas, eating out, oh, BJ's household, planner stuff, Planners left BJ's eating out. Um, oh, household. I might not even need household, but. I'll write them all down. Grandbaby is a really a sinking fund. That's a separate account. It's really not my, you know, variable expenses. Um, even planner stuff is really a sinking. It's That's really a sinking fund, but I wrote it down so quickly. Your variable expenses are stuff that really just change. They are not um, the same amount every week. Well, gas could be the same amount and your planning can be the same amount, but this is the stuff that's variable. You might not need to buy stuff at the household um, every week. Maybe you already bought it the previous week and it's going to last you two weeks. Do you know what I mean? So maybe I bought enough yarn where I don't need to buy any yarn this week. Stuff like that. So these are the categories. So I'm going to put all of the bills over here, which is going to be like category one. Um. Okay, so after you figure out your variable, like you get paid, you pay your bills, now you wanna take a look and say, okay, well, how much am I gonna budget for groceries? That's where you're gonna look at your cash envelopes and say, okay, what do I have left? You're gonna go in your little envelope and you're gonna pull out what you have left and you're gonna add everything and say, okay, what, what money am I gonna put in? You just need to know what you're budgeting for your variable expenses, which are here. And you wanna put them in the envelope. Same goes for the sinking fund. So when you're done with that, you're gonna take a look and say, okay, what do I wanna put in for my sinking fund? What I'm gonna do, let's just say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Christmas. Christmas and grandbaby and credit card. Um, here, let's go over here. So uh, these are, this is like kind of what I want to do. The credit card is, I'm going to be adding to this. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to add anything to the total debt. I might be able to pay off one card. I might as well just do that. My, I have a sinking fund for credit card. It just says cards. So that way I could put money in and then get a couple hundred and kind of just pay the larger cards down quick, quicker. Um, this is the sinking fund insert and I tried to break it down for you. So I put the sinking funds up here. This is also a sinking fund. And then these are the cash envelopes. 
Like this is the miscellaneous stuff. You know, your groceries, gas, beauty, BJ's is coffee, beauty is my nails, gas, groceries, eating out is every Saturday. I like to do that with my girls. Planner stuff, if I buy a new planner, inserts, stickers, yarn for my business and household is paper towels, toilet paper, cat food, um, cleaning supplies, stuff like that. So I list everything out and um, if you're adding, you're just going to be putting a plus. What did I say? Um, and Christmas. I want, okay, yeah. So we'll put that there. Um, so the goal for my groceries, I really like to have like 150. If I don't spend that amount, and that's okay. I can leave it in the envelope and then whatever I don't use, I have I have it for during the week. A lot of times I go during the week to the grocery store or um, you know, when I get paid the next time, I have that money still there. Like it's not gonna go to waste, you're gonna definitely use it. These are the separate these are the different categories for the envelope. Once the money's gone, it's gone. It's gone. If you want to take it from a different envelope, that's fine. But you can't use what's here and then be like, okay, let me go use my card. Let me go use my credit card. Let me go, you know, take money out from my savings. That's, that is not, oops, I'm sorry. That is not the point of using <clears throat> um, the cash envelopes. The envelopes, so make sure you put enough that you need so because when it's gone it's gone gas i'm gonna say like 50. oh my god i have to tell you a story um i was basically getting i was basically picking up my daughter because her car is getting uh fixed um somebody hit her car she has a parked on the street and um so i was like okay well let's call the insurance company let's get the car fixed it is a 2021 it's not something that you want to just leave all uh, damaged in the front fender so long story short i picked her up and I saw my light go on, um, which is expected because I always get gas like what every Thursday and Friday, you know, and I saw it. I was like, oh, I'll just get it when I when I pick her up. So I picked her up. We go the up. We're going back to Manchester and we're just talking and laughing and we're just talking about the, the OBGYN. We're just like cracking up. And the next thing you know, I'm jumping on the highway and my car is on E. Like there is no like you have 10 miles, you have five miles, like it's zero negative. It was like that, 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 like girl, I was so scared. I was like, oh my God, we're going to run out of gas. We're going to run out of gas. And next thing you know, I get off the next exit. As soon as we get off the exit, you can, the car's like, you know how that, like that, that feeling like, oh my God, it's about to shut off. I literally just was like, I like went there like on zero, like slowly pulling into the gas station. And I was like, praise the Lord, I made it. Okay, that was, that was that's what happened to me on Saturday. Um, oh my God, never again, never. It never did happen to me anyways because I always fill up my gas tank. Anyways, when I put gas in, guess how much it cost? $47.50. That's how low it was. It's never that high. You guys know I always get gas at like 40 bucks. Um, so beauty, I'm gonna say like $75.00. Usually I put enough for like a hundred or like two weeks. Get my nails done. It could be like 40. Got to throw my toes. You can't leave them all crusty. You got to like, you know, got to take care of the feet too. Even though it's like winter and we're going to have them covered up. Mm -mm. BJ's, I like to do like, I know coffee's there. I got I want to start getting my daughter Pampers. I'm going to do a hundred because I don't really buy like a lot of food there, but I want to start getting Pampers every time I go there when I get the box of coffee. And eating out, I like to do 100. I know that's a lot. Um, that might even be pushing it. We might have to just put 50. Um, planner stuff, I like to do like... For this week, we're going to we'll do 50. And yarn, I got a lot. I just need the money. We'll just do like... So like when you get paid, you want to put money aside. Now this eating out is pretty high. So, you know, I might need to take a look at this because that's kind of pricey to pay for everyone every weekend. Um, it's okay when it's just one or two people. It can become expensive depending on where you go. Um, I took the girls out this Saturday to a burger place. I think the total was 50. So that was that's reasonable for me. Um, and like I said, it's once a week. 
So anyway, so these this is the sinking fund insert that I use. These are sticky notes from Amazon, and then the pen you can also get. It writes in white. I'm sorry, I left it upstairs. Then you have your bill tracker and paycheck to paycheck, and then I also have my online orders. So this is um. I already got that. So these are on their way. I should get these on Monday. And then the um, I already received this as well. Forgot how much it was. Um, so I can't think of any other. I I don't think I have anything else. Oh. Do it. I forgot. I think I'm good. I, th I don't think I ordered anything. And then in the back, I just saved the rest. Okay, so that is uh, that is that. So I also ordered inserts for cat the um, monthly because currently I am using these. And it's fine. I might not even order. Oh, so here's my plan. I'm going to order month on two pages and I'm going to order the top tabs that are from January to December, just like I did for the personal wide. I only have October, November, and December in here. Can you see? And then I like that. So I want that in here because I really want this like calendar, business, daily pages, note pages and then the finance this is mainly left at home but if i can if i want to take it i can so these are the um the inserts that i'm using right now but i like i really like a i really like um a month on two pages because i have more room but that's okay for now it's a couple more months so that's what i would like to do like in the future is get the top tabs and then the month on two pages um and everything else is just like I said it's great and I like the A5 planner I like to leave it at home I do take it with me oh there's the stickers I'm like losing it I like to um I like planners so I like to use different planners so a lot of people will ask me um like do you do you do I use both um and yeah so if I choose to use this during the day or on the weekend, that's great. If I want to take it out with me, I can also do that. I have that option. But because I have a lot of personal information in here, I don't really have to take this with me. So that's why I just leave it at home. And then I share it with you guys. This is, I'm probably going to change my personal wide cover to the Aubergine Croc. Ooh, pretty, which is this. And this is my week's. Uh, this is a personal wide in the purple as well, and I use this for on the go. I love this. You know why? Because I can, I can create it, I can decorate it every way. So I have all of my yearly stuff in the front, which is how much money I make. There's like they're like trackers. Then I have this, which is also oh, a tracker that I'm trying to set up. This tracker is from SM Plans. I highly recommend this because if you're trying to stay, um, you know, like on top of your tasks, on top of just a lot of different categories in your life, then I really, I think a 30 day habit tracker is really good. This is really good for me as well. Like business related, walking, drinking water. Did you take vitamins, work on your website, work on order, you know, get the idea. So that's that. Let's do a quick flip. This is the personal wide. And then I just have the um, monthlies, and then I have the top tabs. October, November, December, daily pages. Um, here's the daily pages from SM Plans. Cute, aren't they the cutest? Yeah, so I was just thinking about changing the cover to the, um, the Albergine Croc. Um, Else list to make, and then I just love this. 
Um, I love the note pages. I thought I wrote, oh, I think I wrote over here. Oh, I passed it. Um, and I love it. I just love the colors. They're so freaking, they're so, I'm sorry, they're so pretty. Um, so this is the other stuff that I did. Um, take out the window. So I did all this. I made a meatloaf yesterday. I put away all the yarn. I think I did a lot of stuff yesterday. So I worked on the Pixie Pink. Um, I have the uh, the Birch I'm almost done. I have an LV in the Dusty I'm almost done. So just bear with me, guys. I'm trying to go as fast as I can and maintain everything. Um, so this, these are all the note pages, literally. And then I just put it over there There's some stickers. And then over here is just your finances. You know, you have like a no spend tracker. You have monthly bills. These are from SM Plans. And I have like months in here. See? So I would use this consistently. These are from Dear Planner. I actually like, I really like her inserts. I've used them for years. And then I started with um, Sierra. And then you have your income and expenses. This is the same concept that I would um, share with you in the A5. She doesn't uh, make A5 insert, she makes half letter. So that's why I use the ones in the personal wide. You look at your month here, what I got paid, what bills. Very simple, like if you're, if you're on the go and then on the back I'd write out what I needed for my sinking funds. Took me a while to get to where I'm at. I remember when I started at just 3,000 and it was a challenge. Anything that I made extra and I kept putting 100, 100, 100 and I just kept putting money away. Online orders and then sinking funds. So, so. all right. And then the only other thing I need to do is update my, this is my Hobonichi Weeks. This is a B6 um, Slim cover. And is it a B6 Slim or is it a B6? Or wait, what do they call it? I don't know. I get them confused, but it's a Slim. The regular size is the B6. Um, and I haven't used stickers for the whole year. I only use like a little bit of stickers. And I really like that. I honestly, I really, I don't, I don't really care for the stickers. Um, so like one week I added stickers. So let's go take a look. I don't think I like it. I mean, I guess it looks cute, but you know what I mean? So I always like to use a sticky note and I always like to use like little dot stickers or, you know, like little, the littler stickers, you know? Um, not here. Here I go. So I have all. I just love this. Oh my god, isn't it the cutest? This little planner is so tiny, but let me tell you, you can you can do so much in it. I do wish the paper color was like white, but so many years have gone by that. Okay, here we go. So this is from Sterling Inc. This is from Planet Char. She has the tabs. She also has the dividers here. See how it's November and December. These are her dividers. And I also have her bookmark. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> and I took out the rest because it was getting to be a little bit bulky. But anyways, so this is from Sterling Inc. And, you know, I kind of just personally like it just plain. So, but yeah, her inserts, I mean, her um, stickers are, are so very pretty. They're gorgeous. And I got the set for different ones. So I'm definitely not going to let them go to waste. I'll put them on again. And then these little crooked boxes are going to be like what I was going to eat for dinner. And as you can see, they're kind of crooked. Bear with me. Um, yeah. 
set up my blog and my website, I did that. Order the seven baby steps from Vista, I did. One day off. And flip that. Back in laundry. Budget. Video on Sunday. Video on Monday. Print inserts. Dad gift card. And bathroom. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, here's... We'll write... Oh, that was yesterday. Okay, so this is going to be the new week. I'm just going to go ahead and start writing. But um, anyways, I just wanted to show you the inserts and everything, um, you know, that I was using and kind of just go through. It was just a quick video, a nice Monday chat. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye.